for me, I'm sorry, it's really emotional for me because I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being killed, children being killed every day with Putin's missiles and his helicopters and his rockets. Hiding out in bomb shelters. But this isn't a place, with all due respect, um, you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan that has seen conflict raging for decades. You know, this is a relatively civilized, uh, relatively European, I have to choose those words carefully too, uh, city where you wouldn't expect that or hope that it's going to happen. When you look at what happened in the last refugee crisis in Europe back in 2015, Poland was one of the EU countries that, you know, was hesitant to take in refugees. Talk about what has changed and the different position now. Yeah, well, just to put it bluntly, these are not refugees from Syria. These are refugees from uh, neighboring Ukraine. I mean, that, quite frankly, is part of it. These are... Um, Christians, they're white, they're, um, they're very similar to people, I mean, people who live in Poland. Population. As you're talking to us, Matthew, we're playing in the latest pictures of some of the refugees trying to get on trains or trying to get out of Ukraine. And, and what's compelling is just looking at them, the way they're dressed. These are prosperous, I'm loath to use the expression, these are prosperous middle class people. These are not obviously refugees trying to get away from areas in the Middle East that are still in a big state of war. These are not people trying to get away from areas in North Africa. They look like any European family that you would live next door to. On voit bien ce qu'il fuit et il n'est pas question de dire est-ce que vous êtes vraiment des, des réfugiés. On est au 21e siècle, on est dans une ville européenne et on a des tirs de missiles de croisière comme si on était en Irak ou en Afghanistan, vous imaginez. Ça sera sans doute une immigration de grande qualité en mmh. revanche. Ce sont des intellectuels. Parce que ce sont des Européens de culture, même si on n'est pas dans l'Union européenne, on est avec une population qui est très proche, très voisine. On ne parle pas là de Syriens qui fuient, qui fuient les bombardements du régime syrien soutenu par Vladimir Poutine. On parle d'Européens qui partent leur voiture, qui ressemblent à nos voitures. Il y a une différence entre les Ukrainiens qui, encore une fois, participent de notre espace civilisationnel avec des, des populations euh, qui euh, appartiennent à d'autres civilisations. On aura une immigration de grande qualité dont on pourra tirer profit. Nous ne sommes pas face à des migrants qui vont passer dans une logique d'immigration. <musique> 